Hey, it's Charlotte. Today on Maker's Moments, we'll be teaching you how to choose the right wick for your candle project. Before beginning any candle project, it's important to determine your wax type, vessel diameter, fragrance, and fragrance load. These will all play an important role in the wick success for your candle. When choosing a wick, there are a few technical and design factors that you'll want to first consider. Cotton wicks are a common option. However, they often do not achieve a full melt pool if you plan to use a single wick, causing wax to remain on the inside of your candle container, also known as tunneling. Wooden wicks are a unique option that add value and luxuriousness to any candle. There are a variety of wick styles, shapes, colors, and a unique sensory experience that produces a beautiful crackling sound. They release fragrance better and faster by generating up to 35% more heat than cotton wicks, which amplifies the fragrance throughout. They are eco-friendly, generate full, even melt pools, and create a relaxing ambiance. When choosing the right wooden wick, it's important to first consider your wax type. Let's open our wooden wick sample kit and we'll show you some of these wicks. If you're using 100% soy wax or beeswax, your best option is the Crackling Booster 0.04. Crackling booster wicks are a single ply wick with an adhered booster strip down the center. The extra wooden material produces more heat in order to burn properly with more difficult oily wax types like soy. If you're using beeswax or natural wax blends with palm, coconut, or soy oils, the crackling booster wick or whisper booster wick are your best options. If you're working with paraffin based waxes, or natural wax blends with palm, coconut, or apricot oils, the Crackling Booster or Whisper Booster 0.02 are your best option. If you're using paraffin or a paraffin soy blend, a single ply crackling wick or a single ply whisper wick in either 0.02 or 0.03 are great options. Because paraffin doesn't require a lot of heat to burn, the single ply wick works perfectly. The final and most unique wick currently available is our tube wick. The tube wick works well with all wax types and makes a two to two and a half inch diameter melt pool. In summary, the main difference between these wicks and the thicknesses of the wick itself affect the way they burn, which will dramatically affect the way your wick interacts with the wax. The greater the thickness material, the more heat it will generate, creating a larger flame. Some waxes such as beeswax and soy need much more heat generated in order to burn properly. On the other hand, natural wax blends and paraffin burn much more quickly, needing minimal material and heat to generate a flame. A sign that your wick is performing appropriately in your wax type is an approximate half inch flame height and a full melt pool after two to three hours of burn time. Ready to put your newfound knowledge into practice? Head to the wick selection guide on www.woodenwick.com, link below, for recommendations on the appropriate width for you to begin burn testing. We always recommend burn testing using a sample kit. Factors such as fragrance type, fragrance load, and vessel size all influence the success of a wick in your desired candle project. Now you're ready to begin testing for the perfect wick. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel to stay in the know on all the latest makers tips and tricks. See you next time on Makers Moments. Happy making!